So we've got a new scenario for our player. Our player wants to get to the end as normal, but this time the box is in its way. So we can run it and we can't jump over. And even if we could, we've got this box in the way. So what can we do to get to the other side? Well, there's another element that we can add to our game. But if we could pick up the box and move it. So let's start with our box. This is just a normal sprite created to be a square. So we need to add some behaviors to this to start with. First, we're going to add is solid. We want a box that the player can jump on and not be able to move around. So we can add that. We are going to also add another behavior, and this one's going to be called drag and drop. So this is a really interesting one. This allows us to move with our mouse. So we come into the level, and we've got our box here that we cannot move, but we can grab our mouse and we can pick it up and we can move it around the level and now we can jump on it and get to the other side so we can do some really interesting and cool mechanics with this you can see that we've got some issues that we can move it through the level so not ideal but also we can make it float in the air which can have some usefulness in games but might not fit the theme of the game you're going for so we'll go back to our lovely physics engine that we've got so we're going to add a behavior and we're going to scroll down till we get to physics. I'm going to add that. Now, on its own, this should fix our problems, but let's test it. And you'll see now that our box falls and it obeys physics. You see that if we try and put it through a wall, it's going to try and jump out straight away. It's also going to rotate. So we can get some really interesting mechanics going with this. So we can now jump on top of the box and get to the end. Reminder when using physics that your other objects that are going to interact with the physics in any particular way So in this case my walls and my ground also need to have the physics property and They need to have a movable set on if not they're going to fall if You want the play to interact with the movable objects as well You need to have physics on there and we did that in our last tutorial There's a great way that you can have objects that you can move around the level and add a second set of controls to the player to use so now they not only have to use the keyboard but now they also have to use the mouse so another interesting way that we can create some very unique level designs